Thanks for coming back and checking out TurfUnderground.com. I'm Eric Von Hoffen, and this is something that I wanted to, to uh, bring back to everybody's attention. I did a, a segment on it when we first opened up the website about how the fig leaf uh, ficus uh, white flies have been affecting everything. Well, today you can see here it's affecting a lot more. Uh, we've, we're under siege down here in South Florida. It, these uh, gumbo limbo white flies have been affecting ficus trees also um, cocoa plums, live oaks, orchids. It's amazing that uh, these plants here you can see underneath that I've never seen anything ever attack a, an orchid, orchid plant like that but we've got a lot of little nice hardy plants that have been really affected here so I'm going to take, uh, take some more pictures and show you guys and give you some ideas for treatment on it so thanks for coming back and checking out turfunderground.com hey, uh, some damage and some larvae and some adults on a croton plant you can see here the uh, the white flies there's two adults and they're the rest of them are little egg trails there and what's happening is they're they're totally defoliating a lot of this plant material and you can see here if you don't treat your plants this is what happens to it the whole thing uh, it becomes defoliated the plant has no uh, leaves on it has no way to make any food for itself so I'm going to show you a few other spots and give you some more recommendations on what to do to uh, to treat it here we, we've got a whole grove here of uh, green maypan coconuts and you can tell up here on the leaves when you start looking at them they've got another white sheen to them and that is all of the white fly all of these uh, are showing signs of uh, being infected with the white fly so all of these need to be treated also I'm over here in a grove of uh, live oak trees. These uh, trees are pretty much the best trees that you can plant down here in Florida. They last the longest. They withstand up to uh, the high winds and hurricanes. Don't need uh, too much maintenance on them, but I want to show you some areas too that are these uh, these live oaks are also being damaged and being affected by the white fly, which we've never seen anything really attack these before. So. I'm not going to go and treat any of these uh, oak trees yet. We're going to see what happens. Uh, but some of the other plants, I think we definitely need to do something to. Here we've got a sable palm. Just see a few little spots of the white fly. These two are uh, a native to, to South Florida. I don't see much damage uh, on any of the other leaves, though. Here we're looking at a gumbo limbo tree. Uh, it's pretty ironic that that's, this is what the, uh, the new white fly is named after. This tree is also called a Yankee tree because of the bark looks like uh, I did when I came down to South Florida for the first time and got sunburned, but that's what it's named after. It's pretty funny. Um, you can see here a lot of the leaves have been uh, knocked off of this. Part of this is just with the season change, but uh, I do see some remnants of the, uh, the flies on these also. Uh, nothing like the coconut palms. Here we've got a, a little fishtail palm and same thing we found some other areas that are infected but nothing like uh, what I showed you earlier on the uh, Montgomery and Christmas palms and the coconuts overall uh, it seems like it's holding its own here are a group of uh, Robolini palms here in our tennis parking lot and let's look underneath just some small remnants of them trying to affect it but not 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 nearly this is the last thing I was going to show you this morning I wanted to show you a ficus uh, ficus hedge here I've showed you ficus trees oak trees cocoa plums crotons sable palms coconut palms some robolinis and all of them have some type of remnants of, of damage and, and infestation of the uh, the gumbo limbo white fly but as you can see here this is a beautiful ficus hedge and it looks uh, like they've had this treated recently. I don't see any damage or anything underneath the, uh, the leaves. You can see the leaves, the new leaves are nice and healthy. So it just proves that when you do, do take the proper steps, it comes out of it and it starts to grow. Please do me a favor, contact a professional, have somebody come out and assess your property get a game plan together some of this is is, is a big project to, to, uh, to ha take on and handle um, with a professional they could come out and do a root drench on it uh, actually soak the bottom of the line here with a product the systemic insecticide that goes into the plant material 
and then that plant material just sort of like you and I taking an antibiotic um, the bugs don't like the plant material after it's been treated and they leave and your, your, your landscape material and everything's been saved so I hope this was helpful today I wanted to revisit this and show everybody what was going on because we are under siege down here in South Florida with this product um, with, you know, with this problem with the, uh, the white fly so I hope this gives you some insight and gives you a game plan on how to uh, take care of it so thanks for coming back and checking out TurfUnderground.com.